In order to be a successful technical trader, you'll need to be able to view a stock's price history, typically with a chart, and access the charting tools you'll need to perform technical analysis. With the invention of the internet, anyone can now access real-time, user-friendly candlestick charts to analyze stocks. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of sites and trading platforms that have charts and charting tools available for you to use, but some are definitely better than others. Out of all the sites available today that provide you with tools and charts to use for trading, in my opinion, two of them have come to stand out amongst the rest. My two favorite places to analyze candlestick charts for technical analysis are StockCharts.com and TradingView.com. They both offer free, interactive candlestick charts which allow you to view real-time prices and even add dozens of indicators and overlays that many other sites don't offer. Typically, each trading platform where you actually place your trades will also provide you with charting tools, but it usually doesn't compare to the tools offered on Stock Charts and TradingView. For analyzing stock charts on trading platforms, I prefer to use TD Ameritrade. So let's take a quick look at how to access and use both TradingView and StockCharts.com. First, let's go check out StockCharts.com. StockCharts.com is one of the best places to analyze candlestick charts, especially for beginners. Not only can you view candlestick charts, but also other chart types like PNF charts, seasonality charts, and even a gallery view where you can view multiple charts at the same time. But in order to view a candlestick chart, you want to select Sharp Chart. So let's pull up an example stock to see how the charts look on StockCharts.com. I think I'll just use the S&P 500 index. So in the search bar here, I'm just going to type in the symbol for the S&P 500, SPX. You should see a drop down menu pop up of possible stocks that you're searching for. Let's select the S&P 500 at the top here. So here's what a candlestick chart looks like on StockCharts.com. It has a very simple layout that's easy for anyone to use. You can also see some of the elements that we discussed earlier such as the RSI, the MACD, and the moving averages. The default chart we're viewing here is a day chart, but to change the time frame, you want to go up to period and select the time frame you want each candlestick to represent from the drop down menu. You can then click update and you'll now see our chart changes to the weekly chart where each candlestick represents one week. If you look at the menu below your chart, you can also edit your chart attributes and your overlays and indicators. Under chart attributes, you can even change your chart type to any of the charts listed in the drop down menu here. But we're going to stick with the best chart type, which is of course candlesticks. You can also edit your graph size, range, and color scheme. Let's make the graph a little bit bigger and change it to a landscape and also change the color scheme. As you can see, they offer dozens of different color schemes that you can choose from. Candlesticks are not always red, white, or black, but can be any color depending on the chart that you're using. We'll discuss this more in the next section. So here's our new customized candlestick chart. Being so easy to use, StockCharts.com is a great choice if you're just getting started. So now let's head over to another one of my favorite sites to analyze candlestick charts, TradingView.com. TradingView has become my go-to site for candlestick analysis and is great for both beginners and those with experience. You can view real-time interactive charts, add hundreds of indicators and overlays, and even create your own watch list like you see on the right hand side here. To pull up a chart, you can type in the stock symbol in the search bar up top, but I'm just going to select the S&P 500 from my watch list here. You may see a line chart as your default chart, but of course, we need our candlesticks. To pull up the candlestick chart, let's look at the button on the top right and click on Full Featured Chart. And here's the real-time interactive candlestick chart for the S&P 500. The charting tools on TradingView are super easy to use, such as using your mouse scroll to zoom in and out of your chart. The layout is user friendly and you can easily add charting elements like support and resistance lines or indicators and overlays. You can use the menu on the left hand side to add things to your chart like support levels or text. To add indicators or overlays such as the MACD or RSI, simply go up to the menu up top and click the squiggly line here. You can then search through the hundreds of built-in and user-created indicators and overlays on TradingView. We'll discuss indicators and overlays in a later section in the course. To change your chart settings, look at the menu up top and click on the little gear icon here. This should open up your settings menu where you can edit your chart attributes. Here's where you can edit things like your chart style, scale, and background. You can even change the candlestick colors, the wick colors, or the color of your entire theme. Remember that your candlesticks can be any color scheme that you like, but try to stick with the same colors to keep things simple and not get confused, especially if you're a beginner. So take some time now to play around with both sites and see which one you prefer to use. For me, 
I typically use TradingView to analyze stocks, cryptocurrency, and other assets that I'm trading. But I actually started with StockCharts.com and used them for many years before switching to TradingView. StockCharts.com seems to be easier to use for beginners, but the charts and tools available on TradingView has definitely won me over. In the next section, we will get started with the basics of reading individual candlesticks. I'll see you in the next video.